appendicitis is inflammation of the vermiform appendix. It's a very common condition and is one of the main reasons for abdominal surgery in young patients. Acute appendicitis is typically a disease of children and young adults with a peak incidence in the second and third decades of life. The classical presentation consists of periumbilical pain, which within a day or more can move to the right hypogastrium. It is associated with fever, nausea and vomiting. It also relies on the appendix being in a normal position, which is not the case in a significant number of cases. Be aware that small children can present with nonspecific, vague symptoms. Also choose ultrasound as your first choice of imaging when trying to rule out appendicitis in young patients. We want to avoid using ionizing radiation whenever possible. With a competent user, ultrasound is reliable at identifying abnormal appendices, especially in thin patients. However, the identification of a normal appendix is much more difficult. A normal appendix has a subtle wall and a small diameter under 6 mm. It's also a mobile structure and can shift under pressure from a probe. When the appendix is inflamed, it becomes dilated and attaches itself to the other abdominal structures. The surrounding fat structures show stranding, pinpointing the pathology, pointing you directly toward the inflamed appendix. This is a video that will show us the approach to finding the appendix. We need the circle pole here in the right hypogastric region. We need the terminal ilium here entering at the valve of Bauhin. And then we will look in this corner to see if there is another structure that looks like a terminal ilium entering here. This is the appendix in long section. You can see the typical walling of the appendix. You can also see that this appendix is definitely below 6 mm in diameter. Now we will follow the appendix in its full length to find the appendix pole. This is important as the inflammation of the appendix can also sit only at the pole and the rest can be normal. The end of the appendix is right here. So this is the appendix in its full length. In this video we see what appendicitis looks like. We see the sickle pole here. We see that there is an hyperechoic round structure leaving the sequel pole and a dilated tube-like structure ending here. This is the inflamed dilated appendix. You can also see that the fat structures around here are stranding. And when we measure the appendix it has 12 millimeters. Now we go into a long section over the sequel pole and we see the dilated appendix coming out here and moving behind the sequel pole here. This is the typical presentation of appendicitis. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.